Hey everybody, welcome back to Honey Ridge Farm. We're gonna check the highs tonight. I forgot to check the date. Um, but we had a high of um, two weeks and a day ago that had a queen cell. And some people was asked about it, if the queen cell hatched out or what happened with it. I wanted to check it in two weeks. I uh, haven't checked it yet, so I'm gonna check and see uh, if that queen cells hatched out it was too long i thought so um i don't think it was a viable cell but we'll see what it's done and what it's done if it's hatched out we'll make a hive out of it and give them some uh, stuff from other hives to help them along if it hasn't doesn't have any eggs or doesn't look like anything's going on it'll definitely get combined all the other hives have been combined and are looking good that's the only one that's in question so we're going to check it out Do some close-up shots. Bees coming into the hive. Coming back in for the evening. It's late in the day now. It's about 5.30 probably. They're fairly busy. I seen them on some goldenrod earlier. Um, so it might be too late from might have got in their pollen and most of their stuff they was going to get in earlier in the day you can check uh flyers will put out their nectar uh at certain times of the day is better than others so at certain times sometimes you think bees aren't busy when they there might have been a two hour span from who knows 12 to 2 or whatever during the day that they were really busy and then the rest of the day not that busy because flyers are not putting out as much we're gonna get into a hive though and see what's going. There's some pollen there. See what's going on. Okay, this is the hive we're looking at. Um, checked it on nine two. Uh, reduced to one high body and added drone comb. Has a queen cell. Check in two weeks. Again, this is two weeks in the day, so we're gonna check it out and see what they. Done. Got smoker going pretty good today. Looks like a lot of bees so far. There's a roach. I always got some roaches in the top of the hive, it seems like. Somebody said they thought they'd seen hive beetles, but I didn't. I think I seen one and squashed it last time. I've never, I've not seen but one or two high beetles in any hive um, so far this year. Could get in here, be in a light hive, and there might be a bunch of them running around, but if they are, I'll tell you. But I uh, haven't seen very many high beetles. A lot of bees on the inner cover. They all look pretty good, look healthy. Moving good, a little bit runny. They keep banging them, that don't help. I think that frame with the queen cell was either one of these two, I think. So we'll start on the other side and make sure we give ourselves plenty of room so we don't uh, damage anything. They should be hatched out or I guess emerged is the right word. Should be emerged by now. I put some honey and some drawn comb in here, so that's what we're looking at here. A little bit of honey there at the top, not a lot. If they're um, if they've made a new queen and she's doing good, we'll give them plenty of resources from some other hives that can stand to lose it. Okay, there's two frames out, so we're gonna start sliding over. They don't seem to be buzzing loud, which they wasn't buzzing last time, but I didn't see the queen. There's that frame of 
little bit of drawn out comb that we seen last time. Might have a little more nectar in it. Certainly hasn't been drawn out anymore. I've got cat brood. I see some, well, I don't know. It's hard to tell, I might have to go out in the sun. That there don't look like bad cat brood at all. Some cat brood attached out. too dark to see down in the cell right here. I could go out in the sun, but then you wouldn't be able to see it. I think this frame had the queen cell. If it's still on there, we'll open it up and see what's inside, but I don't think it was viable. Mm, nope, it's out. That queen cell is opened up and the queen has emerged just right here. So now it makes me wonder where is the queen? And is she laying? I have to take one of these frames out in the sunlight and see if I see any eggs. I'm looking now to see if I can spot the queen. Let's see her. I'm going to take this one out in the sunlight see if I can see any eggs out here. Be right back. I did see eggs in that last frame. I uh, didn't see the queen. Uh, it was hard to tell with the sun at the angle it's at if there was eggs in every cell, but I did see eggs in there. So what it might happen is they superseded their queen that they had and have a new queen that hadn't got lined out yet. But I'm gonna try to give this hive a chance, I think. And by going ahead and adding uh, some brood, frames of brood in here, I would expect to see the queen probably on this frame. There's not very many frames with a lot of bees. I would think if the queen was in here, I'd be able to see her. But I, she might be small or she might be dark. Or she might have her head or her butt in the cell. There's a reason I can't spot her. There's an unusual looking drone right there the spot on its back and it's not a varroa mite i don't know what that is it might be damaged from the varroa mite in the seal i don't see the queen there's some Bees removing some damaged uh, larva from right there, if you can see it. Hopefully you can. They're removing the damaged larva from the cells, so they're showing some hygienic behavior to be able to do that and take that out. So they might be trying to fix the problem. They might be 
okay, but they're, man, they're awful late in the year to be having problems. They're getting a problem fixed, but I should be able to give them enough resources to help them out. I wouldn't expect, expect to see a queen on a frame like this, but I've not found her on another frame, so I'm gonna look anyway. And I don't see her. There's a high beetle right there. Get it. I'm not sure where the queen at or why I can't find her. Where she's at or why I can't find her. She could be on the walls of the hive. She could be on that inner cover I just kicked. I think I'm gonna close them back up. Yeah, you might have spotted her somewhere, but I have I don't see her. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I take it back. I do see her. She is a little darker. Fine. Uh, that didn't help. Now if I can find her again. Queens have a tendency to run to the other side. They don't like to be seen. It, it's weird that, you know, they work in the dark 24 seven, but you get them out and I guess they run from the light. Maybe you got a white suit on and they don't like that white suit, but they always run to the other side or whatever side that you're looking on. She looks a whole lot like all the rest of the bees. She doesn't stand out. There she is. Now I gotta keep my eye on her. She's not that big. Another thing that makes her hard to find. dot on her now I can find her and I know she's alive and she is dark and kind of striped she got one two almost three segments showing so she probably fatten up Get back on her. Uh, 
Oh, uh, she went. Flew right back down in the hive. All right, now whether or not to go ahead and get another couple frames of brood and put in here is the question that will really help us hive out a lot to have two frames of cat to brood uh, this one right beside it looks great had two apivar strips in it removed two supers of honey that's a good looking hive right here beside it. It might take a couple frames of brood if there's any at the top out of this one. Nah, paying attention to me now. Give me a little smoke. Get this lid glued down like nobody's business. It starts getting the fall of the year, or close to the fall. They start gluing the heck out of these boxes. A lot of propolis. Sealing this hive up, getting ready for winter. Propolis is a good thing. They um, tried to bleed, breed the propolis out of them at one time. Now they found out it's uh, really good for the hive to have a lot of propolis, so they don't do it as much anymore as they used to. This might be all honey in the top. I don't know. Let's see what we got. A lot of honey. Might give them a frame of that too. Okay, 
there's some brood there. Good looking brood and honey, so that'll be good for them. We'll shake the bees off in the original hive just in case we uh, got the queen. And this next frame's got um, real good brood and honey too, so we'll take it. Make sure y'all got a good shot, man. I say that. There's some brood on that side. A lot more on this side. Honey. I've got it at the bottom. It'll be on top in the high. Really um, organized. They got their brood in the oval. Got some pollen around the outside and some honey nectar. You can see them all feeding on it. Which is what they do when you smoke them. But that would be a good frame for this hive here beside them. Alright, I give them M2. I'm gonna swap out some honey frames. I'm gonna give them a slider honey frame here. Put it on the outside. Scrape off a little burr comb. Just basically to keep from smashing bees. I'll put this light frame on the outside. This little frame on the outside. Mm -hmm. This frame here, I think you got a good look, but just in case. Good frame of honey I put in this light one. All right, and then I got some uh, drawn D-R-A-W-N comb. It's not foundation. To put back in this hive, they may fill it out with this fall flow, and they may not. But they've got plenty of stores without it. So even if they don't do anything with it, they are good to go. It's a really good, strong hive. Exactly what you want to see this time of the year. Okay, that's in there. All right, I want my space equalized. And all my frames tight together and any space I've got on the outside of the hives. I'll smoke them down a little more because they're reacting to me. And then I'm gonna scrape off some of this propolis. You don't like the scraping. Ow, turd. Get off me. Mm -hmm. Alright, they're good. 
I'm gonna scrape this inner cover. Most of the propolis also, I can open it up next time I get into it and in the cover. So I've reduced the strength of this hive, which is good, and I've increased the strength on this hive, which is very good now that they got a queen. So I should be good to go. I'm glad of what we found. I'm glad it was a good queen. I think she'll fatten up over time. I don't think she'll stay that small. I think next time we see her, she'll be a big fat queen. And they should have enough brood and enough honey to get through the winter in a single. And I still got a feeder in there that I can feed them if I want to. So we'll go ahead and close them up. A good deal. So I didn't have to lose another uh, hive, another number. And should have a good strong hive that'll make it through the winter. All right, good to go. I got, let's see, looking down this way, I'll take you with me. Oh, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those three are empty. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 with the triple. 15, 16, 17 down here. I need to cut that big old tree limb off the top of these. It was way up above it before the leaves come on it and it got heavy and it started wilting, coming down below the high, or below on top of the house, lower than it was. Uh, we got 17 down there, and then one, two, three, five, six, seven on this side. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. Nine on this time. So 16 and 17, 26. What's that, 33? 33, and then I've still got some swarm traps in full-size hives out that uh, I've got. So I've got somewhere around 40 hives altogether. But all these, 33, are doing great. They've all been, I've taken my winter losses, combined what needed to be combined, and should be good to go. Um, that was my only question was that one that we just did. The rest of them should be fine unless something happens over the winter time or lose a queen. Anything could happen at any time. There's always uh, beekeepers. All beekeepers lose bees at some point. But I think we've done everything we can. Uh, I got one honey super left on. I'll check it next time. But that blue, um, where's it at? That blue there is... I haven't treated that hive or done anything with it. I want to see if I could get some uh, fall honey out of it. So I left that one honey super on there. So I need to pull it off in the next week or so. Been waiting for cooler weather. Uh, it just won't get cool. It's supposed to be up to 96 Wednesday. I can't hardly believe it. Today is Saturday. Um, so I'll probably wait another week or two, maybe into the week after that. I'll probably drop down. Be 96 Wednesday and then next week it'll probably be high in the 50s or We'll totally skip fall and go right to winter. It seems like what happens anymore. But uh, hopefully they'll fill that up with some fall honey, some fall nectar, uh, goldenrod and aster, and some dark honey, and maybe I can have some of that to get a sample of myself and maybe give some away or sell some. So we'll see what happens with that. But that's the only one that's got any honey super on it. And I think everything else has been pretty much treated. So should be in good shape. Um, should be ready to go 
Should be as ready for winter as we can get. I gotta go out one night. Again, I've been waiting for cooler weather, but I gotta go out one night and check for my swarm traps. I know I got uh, two cousins. I've got, I'm sure I got bees had. I've got two here at the house. I hate to put them, move them down here because they, they're not 300 yards away. They'll go back up to that spot. So I'll get them. I might put them at dad's house or maybe my cousin's house. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I'm glad that have that queen made it and hatched out. A uh, little bit surprised by it, that it should be make a good hive, and I'm glad about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and hope to see you on the next one. Thanks.